YouTube, what's going on? It's outside you, outside. Top of the day, y'all. I know. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, what's going on? Um, yeah, I was supposed to get back with y'all last night, you know, after the playoffs and whatnot, but um, you know, a little this and a little this and all that. But I went to the gym and wouldn't work all that stuff off. Um, yeah, last wow, yo. I told people, I said Boston's gonna take it. After what happened um, a few days ago at Milwaukee, I said, I said Boston, Boston got this, hands down. Um, Boston is lucky though. If Chris Middleton would have played, would have been a different story. Yeah, I said it, Chris Middleton. 6'8, wing player. Yeah, he would have, yeah, would have been a different story. Um, now they're facing Miami Heat. Um, I got Miami Heat in six. Reason being because, um, you know, Miami Heat got more depth. They got a nine to 11 man rotation. You know what I'm saying? They're very deep. And from point guard to center, they got guys that's about six two to seven foot. Now, Tyler Hero, he's about 6'5". He plays combo guard. Um, Max Strauss, yo, he, he could ball. Stretch, you know, stretch two, three. You know, um, they got some ballers. I mean, he got some ballers. You got Jimmy Butler, obviously. You got Bam, 6'8", 6'9", center forward. Um, you got P.J. Tucker. Um... Who else? Uh, you got Deadman. He's about 6'11", 7 foot. He plays at times. Um, you got uh, Oladipo. He's now coming. He's now coming back to you know the Oladipo slowly but surely. Um, they got. They just got more of a depth in Boston. Boston really got a six to seven man rotation. If eight, let's call it what it is. You know what I'm saying? So, I, like I said, I got my Miami in six on this one. Yep. Shout out to Grant Williams, who was like the unsung hero. He was killing them in threes. He was just feeling it. You know, he's not really a big three-point guy like that. He's more of a defensive, does this, does that, corner pocket three type dude. You know what I mean? Like, he know his role, you know. Plus, he's about, what, 6'6", six, six, undersized power forward. So, he's like, he's like a stretch four, you know, three. So yeah, so he's one of them type of guys. Um, let's go to the West. Yo, Luca. I think this was his fourth year in the league. I think this is fourth year in the league. If I'm answering correctly, yo, Luca ain't no joke. No joke. I saw it. I saw the game. Until it started and until it ended. Yo, like, he just set that tone. And it just so happened Dinwiddie and Brunson were just feeling it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I wanted to see a good game. I didn't want to see a blowout. You know, I figured they back in Phoenix. So, you know, everybody, including myself, thought, you know, I think Phoenix is going to finish these cats off. Nah, scrap. Mm. Luca, he's about he's a point forward. He's about six seven. Um, he could ball, not too athletic, but he knows how to use his his size. He know he knows the game, and he's been playing with grown men since he was nine ten years old. So a lot of these foreigners, even um, Jokic. A lot of these foreign guys, they, they, they be playing ball with grown men, teenagers to grown men, since they're like 9, 10, 11, 12 years old. You know, um, Luca, yo, he, he, yo, wow. He set that tone, yo, for real, man. He really did set that tone. Um, shout out to Phoenix. Phoenix needs 
Devin Booker needs another another scorer. Um, I think Jay Crowder. I don't want to see Jay Crowder. I don't want to see Jay Crowder go, but they got Jay Crowder playing a position which is not really him. You know, the game didn't change so much that you got guys back in the days would have been small forwards. Or they wouldn't even be in the lead because of their height. But not just because of their height, but it's their style of play. And they're too undersized. So, Jay Crowder's about 6'6". Six, six. Got him playing, you know, the four position. He's really not a four. He's a three, in my opinion. He's like a situation power forward for that situation for that moment. But he's not really a power forward. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know the game didn't change. Guys don't even play down low no more. Down, they don't even play down low no more. Everything is a three, layup, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? So I think um, they should try to make some trades if I was Phoenix. Um, you know who I think will pan out in Phoenix? Jewish Randall. Jewish Randall. Jewish Randall, I keep saying it, he's not really a power forward like that. He's he's a stretch forward, obviously, but he can't hold his own down low like that. So I think it's somehow some way, they'll have to add a 13 to it, but I think Randall will be more of a better fit in Phoenix, you know, um, he. I'll tell you one thing: he won't be no point forward. At least I know that right now. Once he get there, he he already know Chris Chris Paul got you know he got that rock. You just gotta you know just just set yourself, move around, and he got you. You know what I'm saying? Just play your part. But um, I think Randall would be probably a, a good fit in Phoenix. Before, I think I said in one of my lives, uh, maybe a month or two, back, whatever, um, I said Randall would probably be, would probably go to Dallas, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I think the way how Dallas, the way how they got their shit structured, they all right, you know what I'm saying? And look where they at now, they pretty much contenders, you know what I'm saying? You can say they pretty much a contender team. Um, so, yeah, so... I think Phoenix definitely got to make some moves. Um, as far as Aiden, I know he wants to get to that bag, but he still got to prove himself. Aiden is a good player. Is he an all-star type? I don't know, but he's good. He's good. He's a starter. He's a starting big. Um, as far as CP3, he's getting old. You know, he's getting up there in age. He's still ball, but he's just not that second option type dude. He'll have his moments, but he's like a third or fourth option type guy. You know what I'm saying? That's just part of what it is. That's why I said they need another scorer, another guy who could consistently give a good eight, a good, let's say 19 to 22, 23 a game. You know what I mean? Markel Bridges, he is who he is. Good, good wing, good uh, wing defender. He gets it how he can get it. That's just what it is. So, yeah. Um, as far as Dallas facing Golden State. I got Golden State. One of my people say he got Golden State in five. I said, I don't know, fam. Um, I mean, Dallas don't really have no bigs like that. The biggest big they use is uh, Josh Powell. And he's about, what, 6'9"? You know, Lo uh, Kevin Looney is about 6'9". So... I think as far as height and size wise, they'll both match. But I got Golden State in seven. I think, and the way how Luca been playing, yo, I think um, I think they may take it to seven. I got GSW catching that dub in seven. Um, in the finals, when it's all said and done, I got Golden State and Miami Heat. And. Believe it or not, I think Miami Heat would pull it off. Reason being because they got skilled bigs and um, they got guys who do a bit of this, do a bit of this, bit of that, and they got shooters. So, yeah. But that's just my take on the uh, on um, the two game sevens. 
with uh, Milwaukee and uh, Boston and uh, Dallas and, and uh, Phoenix. Well, shout out to shout out to Luca, man. That dude, yo, and he's he's only he's only gonna get better. He's only gonna get better. That's gonna be scary. But yo, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment. I talk back. And, you know, I'll holler. Um, I'm gonna come back later on tonight. I'm gonna talk about what's going, what, what happened at Buffalo. Um, very tragic what happened at Buffalo. And as far as us as black people, we really have to really be on point and just get you one. Make sure it's licensed. Just be ready at all times. But that's a different build, and I'm gonna get on that tonight. All right. It's outside, Joe. I'm out. Holla.